Hello everyone, this is Linda from Moped by Linda. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my daisy wheel shawls. Um, starting off with basic single one and they interlink after that. You can create some beautiful effects with them. Now there are many ways on YouTube of how you can design these. I have my own way, so I'm only showing my way it doesn't necessarily mean that it is the only way or the right way it is just my way so I've started off I've got my yarn I've got my daisy wheel I've got my scissors a big eye needle and a little crochet hook I've already cut a length of yarn that I can start with and show you so I have that here And you'll see two holes in my daisy wheel. You may not have one like this, but this is um, a Japanese one, and I love it because it's bendy, soft on your hands, it's easier on the wall. Now to start with, the two holes are my indicator of where I'm going to start. So I leave a tail, holding it with my thumb. Directly opposite, we've got the bump there, flower petal. I'm going around that from left to right and then the opposite when I come back. Then I'm going in an anti-clockwise direction. Till we go all the way around. Right, so we've got to the end of it, we've, we've covered it all. So with my tail, bring that up again. Oops, we'll get that back under. I'm going to tie a knot to secure that. Okay, so I've tied a double knot at the centre to hold these together. This will be the wrong side of the daisy. The knot's there. Okay, so we're going to flip it and my long length is what I'm going to create the centre of the daisy with and this is the pretty bit uh, which makes it look more realistic like a daisy. So I'm putting my crochet hook through the centre hole and pulling that long end through. Our tail is still at the back. Right. Now, my hook, and I have just a little one. This is um, uh, 2.5mm, two two but you can use whatever you have handy. I'm going to go where there is, you can see that there is each petal of the daisy. That's what I'll call them, petal of the daisy. I'm going to go under those two crossover strands for that petal and I'm going to pull that long length under it just so that there's a loop and then I'm going to pull through like you were doing maybe doing a double crochet and I'm going to do that all the way around so you do the next one What this will do is give you a nice dark center and secure all those petals. You know a daisy has that lovely little dark center to it. This is what this will do. So when you create your shawl, um, they will look like proper little daisies. It's beautiful. Okay, so I've completed around. You see we've got the nice little solid center now. And that's going to um, look beautiful when you've got a shawl full of these. But what we do now, we've got this tail. So I'm going to flip it back to the wrong side. We're going to pull that tail through. See, I've got a little bit too much excess there, but that's okay. So putting my hook through, I'm going to grab hold of that and pull it back up to the wrong side. Then we're going to tie a knot to secure it. So 
this is Mo here, so it's a bit grabby. Apologise if that's moving around a lot. Then we're going to cut our tails off. So this is the wrong side, remember. We're going to actually, when we join these together, we'll make sure that when they are joined, all the wrong sides are on the wrong side, so that you can have um, a perfectly looking shawl. Not that you can see the, the tails cut off, but so we're just going to bend that to pull these off. Show you what a finished one looks like. No hair's grabbing. Straighten that little petal out. See, that's our finished daisy. How gorgeous is that? Now that's a lace weight yarn. That's my favourite to do it in. It's very slow, but it's a beautiful finished product. Now, our big eye needle is what you're going to use. That's the only extra thing and the thing we haven't used yet. And that's going to be when you do your next daisy. So you go through the same process. But see how those two bumps coincide with two petals. So we're actually going to create that daisy and have the yarn thread through your big eyed needle. So instead of just going around those loops where they connect, should be connecting, you're actually going to put it through the loops before you wind it around your little petal on your flower motif. And that will create it so that it's joined. Making sure that when you do that, it's the wrong side while you do it. So when you take it off, they are all going to be facing the right way. I hope you understand that. I'll do a further video if people are interested and show the joining process. But hopefully now that's giving you a bit of an insight and how you can use your daisy wheel at home.